<laughs> I get a toe clip and I get the kisses. <laughs> Well, hello again, everyone. I've been getting flooded with messages lately. People are asking how come I haven't been posting videos. They want to know if Frankie and I are okay. Well, thank you for your concern. I can assure you everything is fine. I've just been really busy with other things. Been packing up the household, getting ready to put this place on the market. The homestead's going to be hitting the market in a week or so. It's also tax time. And when you have multiple streams of income like this homestead does, the taxes are very involved. There's a lot of paperwork and a lot of crunching numbers going on, but that's coming to a close. So I just wanted to take a minute this morning here, just give you an update of all of the changes that are coming up on the horizon very soon. <laughs> started my channel, I jumped on board with an MCN. That stands for Multi-Channel Network. I did so because there was a lot of music libraries available to me, some other features as well. Plus, whenever I had a question, there was someone right there to give me my answer. I didn't find that kind of customer service directly with YouTube, so I jumped on board with the MCN, and I'm glad I did. However, my contract is ending on March 7th, so I'm going to be going independent. Unfortunately, I've heard a lot of nightmares from others that have unplugged from an MCN. There might be a lot of problems jumping in the game for me. Hopefully, it goes smooth, nice smooth transition, but there may be some copyright claims. My channel will go unmonetized for a stretch as I go through the transition. I may even have to pull a few videos down. Let's hope it just goes smooth. But right now, as I'm moving out of an MCN, I'm preparing to move out of my house, get back to New Hampshire, get my life back to chasing dreams again. And when I come back, trust me, my content, my channel, my videos, everything will be better than ever. So just bear with me, folks, through this transition. And it's going to be an interesting year. I'll tell you, like I said, 2017 is going to be an interesting year for me. <laughs> He's having a little nap after his toenail episode. <laughs> when I posted the very first episode of the vlog series, I stated clearly that these are fillers in between my normal productions. They wouldn't be blockbuster episodes. I'm just sharing what's going on in my life at that present time, and that is what a vlog is all about. A lot of folks want me to post more frequently, and they love the vlogs, while other folks are complaining and say I'm posting too much, and my channel is turning into a daily vlog. Well, I can't keep everybody happy, and I'm not even going to try. I don't use clickbait, and when I post a vlog, the thumbnails clearly represent that this is a vlog episode, and I put them all in their own playlist down below. For, you, for those of you that like that sort of thing, you can watch it, and those of you that don't like that sort of thing can very easily avoid it. I'm not baiting anyone into watching them. For example, I have a friend of mine who posts a lot of ATV videos. I have no interest in watching ATV videos, so I don't watch those. If he posts some, something going on in his hunting camp or a project that I might be interested in, I watch it and I leave a nice comment. It's really not that hard to figure out. But like I said, I'm not going to BS you. I could just throw my camera gear into the Jeep, drive over to the cabin, film a little cabin, come back home, and post it. But I'm not going to post cabin videos if I'm not staying at the cabin. It's just who I am. Just recently, I was watching a bushcraft survival video, and I was listening to it with headphones on, and you pick up a lot more stuff that way, and I heard a garage door open, opener 
turn on and the garage door go up and it sounded like someone was wheeling out a trash can to the curb. So much for the survival mission. I was a little turned off by that. So I'm not going to BS my audience with that kind of stuff. I'm going to do the best I can to make the best content I can, but sometimes I just want to share what's going on in my life, and that is what a vlog is all about. Look at the snow melting off the roof today. Driveway certainly looks a bit different than it did a week ago. Spring is coming. It's supposed to get up in the low 60s today. Quite a change from what it was just a week ago. Yeah, things are on the move. So before I wrap this up, I'm going to answer a few more questions that have come in. One question is, how do I decide on which comments to answer and which ones to ignore? <laughs> I try my best to answer every one, but of course, the more my channel grows, the more difficult it becomes. The only ones I ignore are the trolls. When I see people that post garbage on my channel, I just delete it and I block the user. I'm not going to waste my time going back and forth with a troll. Will I be doing any more journal readings? Absolutely. I have a plan in place where I'll be doing quite frequent journal readings to a certain group of my viewers. And I'll explain that as the project unfolds. Um, how did we get into the spice business? That's a good question. Basically, it all started s several years ago. We were making venison sausage. With, uh, we were buying the sausage seasoning. And I could not find a seasoning that didn't have MSG or BHA or BHT and garbage like that in it. And we just felt like it was a sin to take a wild animal and pollute it with all of that garbage. So we made our own sausage blend. And I was cutting up some deer for friends at the time and I made them sausage. And a lot of people had tried our sausage and we got rave reviews about it. And a lot of people said that we should market it. So we did, and we started out with a line of chemical-free sausage seasoning, and then we made a chili mix, and we made a few other things, and we just expanded the business from there. Then we started cutting the business back because we were getting really busy, and neither my girlfriend or myself want to be that busy. So we have cut the business back to something that we can handle on a leisurely basis, and it's been great ever since. I want to thank everyone that has been using the Amazon link for the Frankie Fund. Just the other day, well, a week or two ago, I noticed that Frankie was peeing blood in the snow. So I took him to the vet. We had a lot of tests done. And, well, long story short, he's been on some meds and now he's on special food that's really costly. And the Frankie Fund was able to handle about 65% of the bill. So I want to thank everyone that uses that Amazon link. So I guess that's it for now. I'm going to keep on keeping on getting this house on the market. I will be doing a walkthrough with a video camera. I'm going to make a video just about the homestead. I'm going to put it on my channel. And it's going to be on the market. Uh, the asking price is approximately I think we're going listing it with 169 with approximately 20 acres and it's 260 with the whole deal which is a hundred and twenty four acres and I will be showing that on the video soon so thanks again everyone hope you enjoyed the video I'll be back to my original content my uh, cabin time and all of that once I get through this transition out of the MCN. So all the best to you, and God bless. You can't be vlogging it without the dog in it. <laughs>
A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss